Hi, welcome to Thunder Show and the craziest moments of the past week. In this episode, an alternate ending for World War II, the normiest War Thunder Wiesel, and a tiny peeking helmet. Let's get started. It's a tense air battle. Seth 2013 uses flares to confuse the enemy missile, maneuvers wildly to present a harder target, and then, with no warning, pulls off a trick cooler than the Cobra maneuver and shoots the enemy down. We didn't even know the F-5 could do that. Great job! Does caliber matter? Well, yes, but sometimes it's better to have multiple guns instead. It doesn't even have to be a fearsome battery. While their main gun was facing elsewhere, Big Gun No. 1 uses their rear-facing 8mm machine gun and puts a round right into the enemy gunner's helmet. Sniper MGs, man. Sniper MGs. Did you know that the Messerschmitt 109 has something to do with the nuclear threat? Vinny Cat took it to a battle rating of 7.0, scored a whole bunch of targets on this respectable museum exhibit, and earned a nuke. The Alouette 2 is one of the lightest machines in War Thunder. This tiny single-engine bird doesn't even have bulletproof glass, let alone armor. Every system is out in the open. But Ramsey's 78 has enough rage and skill to make their lark rain over the eagles. They dodge the bullets, catch careless enemies with missiles, and prove their skyworthiness time and time again. Four helis downed in a single battle. Here's a normal workday for the Wiesel. It begins on a hill, a natural habitat for this tiny airborne vehicle. There's some bullet striking its lower back gently, which is another normal occurrence, but then an explosion lifts it up and throws it through the trees onto some rocks where the Wiesel destroys a challenger like nothing happened. Told you, just a normal day. And now let's check live War Thunder where we can see... Sorry, I need to read this verbatim. Daka, 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 That'd be all, thank you. One more thing. You guys suggest that we make a new mode where a single tank would be controlled by several people at once. It's a neat idea, but aren't random battles already full of machines that feel like they're controlled this way? Anyways, we'd like to remind you one more time that all suggestions and ideas about mechanics are welcome on the forum. As always, we're looking forward to your epic replays. Bye!